What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, back with another video. Today, an app review, a Windows 10 app review, returning to my roots. This app review is called Hutro, and what Hutro is, is a Philips Hue smart home uh, app. It helps you control your smart home. And essentially, this allows you to change your lights and just a bunch of things, so it's a really nice application. So you're gonna see right here as I sit up, you're gonna see right here on the screen is in the bottom left corner of the screen, you're seeing how the current lights situation is in my basement desk, on my basement desk. And you can see that it's currently blue. It's You see those little flicker lines just because of the refresh rate of the camera versus the refresh rate of the light itself. Uh, this is a Philips Hue, I think it's A19 bulb, um, the ambient bulb. Um, so you can get those in your stores. They're pretty expensive, but if you have it, you can use this app and you're going to see that in the whole throughout the whole video i'm never going to take it away just so that you guys can see in real time what exactly i'm doing on the app and how it's changing in real time so without further ado you see right here starting off uh so you see here this is hutro um i'll let you know what the developer is just in a little pop-up window right here um but this is hutro it's a way to control your philips hue um system and basically what you do when you first set it up is it wants you, first of all, you need to make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi network. Um, so essentially this computer is obviously on the same Wi-Fi network as the Philips Hue. And then on top of that, after it goes through that, it's gonna tell you to press the switch, uh, the Philips Hue sync switch, which is, you can see right there, you press that little circle button in your, wherever you put your Philips Hue um, bridge. And you press that and then it'll automatically connect. You don't need to log in or do anything like that. Now, once you have it connected, it's just like uh, the Philips Hue app, but it looks really nice. It's actually it's actually probably one of the better apps I've seen for Windows 10 um, in my years of doing app reviews. And you can see here, if I drag, this is the desk lamp. Clearly the desk lamp isn't blue and I'll tell you that, well, the desk lamp isn't showing blue on here. And I'll, t I'll tell you for some reason why I see that. Um, but you can see if I dim, it's dimming. You can see that if I increase it, it's increasing, and you can see that it's it's really nice. It's really like it's well executed. You can see all of that. Uh, if I if I press it, I can change the light color just like that, and you can see I can change it to say pink, and it's changing to pink. If I change it to blue, it's changing to blue. I can change it to anything in the rainbow, including go in the center where you get white, and it looks like it snapped to the middle. Actually, let's see. Yeah, it's it kind of feels like it snaps to the middle. If I want to increase the brightness, I can do that. Um, I can change it to green, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to change it to red because that is my jam color, um, and it looks really nice. So another thing you're going to see here is more. If you press more, you can see you can set it to whether you want RGB colors or HSV colors um, choices, and bless you pretty much type in the exact color that you want to have it show up in this thing here. And also you can you can change this also to make it exactly the color that you like. If you press this up here you can have a series of different like I call them common colors that you would have in your house but they're just kind of moods um, so here you have this mood you have this one I think this one's called concentrate this one's called reading mood and then this one I forgot what this one's called we'll look into that later but you see I'm gonna just change it to this one just because it's nice and bright it fills the thing a little bit more you see on the screen it makes it look like hard to see it's so actually let's make it a little let's make it more orange so you guys can see the true color so exiting out of that, you can see I have four bulbs here. Two of them are not on. Um, the other one is not in this room. So this one's actually the basement, uh, the basement stairs, ceiling light. So I can't really show you that because it's not facing that. So I'm only gonna really deal with this one, but it does work the same for all of these. And then you have a general off button and a general all on button. And then you have a all moods button. So if you press this button, you can change the moods of every single, um, every single light in the entire system. So I'm going to change every single light to the same color. Obviously, the brightness varies by whatever you choose, so I can do that. And yeah, it just makes it look really nice. It's a nice, clean interface. Right here, you see your rooms. Um, so you can see right here, I have four rooms. I have living room, uh, living room, basement, stairs, basement, and then Nana's room. Uh, and then you have you can sort it by name or ID. Uh, so if I sort it by name. It sorts it by alphabetical order in name, um, and then you can add new lights if you want to. So if you have a serial number, you can find the lights, and it'll automatically do it, just like you have the Philips Hue app on um, your phone, so which is really nice. Next, you can go over to scenes. 
I don't really have many scenes, but you can see what I was talking about before with these symbols. So clearly this, this one we're on right now is called relax. So if you set this to relax, it's set to relax. If I press it, you see it's already set and I can increase the brightness of relax or I can lower the brightness of relax, the intensity, I'm gonna call it. If you set it to read, you know, it's it's kind, you won't really notice it too, too much. Let me see if I can notice it. You don't notice it in the camera too, too much, but clearly concentrate. Um, I think you should be able to see concentrate, right? Oh, the, I'm setting the basement stairs. I'm really dumb. So if you go to basement and you set it to relax, you can see the difference. And then if you increase the brightness, you can see the, clearly the difference. And then you can change the ambience to concentrate, energize, which is nice blue. You can set it to bright, dimmed, which obviously dims it. Night light, for those of you who like your light on at night, the camera can barely pick it up. Um, Arctic Aurora, uh, Savannah Sunset. It's a good thing I have manual focus on. Um, tropical Twilight and Spring Blossom, which is nice and bright and just spring, you know. But for this purpose, I'm going to put it on Concentrate, a nice clean white color because I'm trying to concentrate. So I'm not going to show you these ones down here because obviously you can't see those lights right now. But same thing here. You can set it by name or last updated or you can add a new scene altogether. So this allows you to pretty much personalize what scene you want so if you want the um say desk lamp and you want a specific scene for the desk lamp you can do that and you can set all of your things so if you want to say uh whatever your assistant is and tell them to change all lights change it to uh christmas time if you set a scene for christmas time that has christmas colors you'll be able to do that and it'll just change the colors to whatever you want um you got alarms as well so you can obviously set um, alarms. I'm not sure what this exactly would do. I guess it would pulsate the thing when the alarm when alarm goes off. Yeah, so it will it will pulsate your lights probably um, depending on the time when the alarm goes off. So let's say let's say I set it to 1:49 p.m. because right now it is actually 1:48 p.m. and I gotta hurry this up. Uh, when the alarm goes off, change the scene to. Uh, energize and then change the light action for the desk lamp to uh, turn on actually you know what energize turn on and let me make sure it's not changing time yet and the brightness to 100% let's turn the brightness down to yeah let's keep it at 100 or, or let's see let's lower it let's lower it quite a bit let's let's make it change down to that oh it's 149 dang um, and then select that make sure it's good and actually I'm gonna change it to 150 just so that way we can see that so you're gonna see at 150 um, on my clock and I think you guys can see it in the corner there you're gonna see that the light changes it's not 149 it keeps doing this alarm set to 150 not 113 boom and then save so you see it updates to that and then so at 150 p.m. on my desktops time you're gonna see that that action actually will happen, um, which is really nice. Um, while that's going on, uh, I'm gonna go to ambiences. So it says here you need Hucho Premium. I don't have Hucho Premium, but with ambiences, it says you can turn your house into a party, select lights, turn up the music and party. Um, so yeah, you can do a lot of things. Basically, the one thing that I, I know the developer, yeah, it's a nice application. It works really well. And actually, the, it's 150, and it didn't change or do anything, which is very strange. But this application here, because it's on Windows 10, uh, Philips already sells, not sells, they have a free app that you can just get from their website. I think it's called, uh, let me see what it's called. I believe it is called, yeah, Hue Sync. And Hue Sync essentially does the same stuff here. Um, but this is just nicer to look at. But you can see the ambiences here, um, even if you don't purchase them. They look really nice. They look really clean. If I click it, it's good, you know, they have different ones. If I have multiple lights here, I could show you Cop Car. But that might be a future video that I'll get paid things. Or if I can contact the developer, I'll do more. But you see, there you go. Kind of late, but the light actually did change. You see it got dimmer, and it changed to what I told it to. Um, then you got Disco. It's another Hue Premium feature. Um... And disco right here is essentially to music. It's going to do somewhere over the rainbow and stuff like that. So if I want reggae night, it says disco, turn your house into a party, select lights, turn up the music and party. So I'm guessing it'll pulsate 
to uh, whatever like the microphone is set to, which is really nice, like whatever I'm saying. Then you have 911, uh, Fior Pharrell, I don't know how to say that. Night Fever, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, and No Colors, which is very strange. Then lastly on the tabs list here, we have System Info, uh, which of course I'm gonna blur out. Um, we have Daylight, which is the current devices, that, which is pretty much what the current theme is here for the devices so if you click it you see when the sun comes up you can set it to do something when the sun goes down set it to do something and that goes for all of them um plus or minus 30 minutes and then you got entertainment basically if you send an entertainment area on your Philips hue thing if you've already done that it'll show up here and you can manage different things of what you're doing so for instance if you're watching a movie you can set the entertainment for this area here um and then last thing automation they have geofencing. I turned off location for the app because I just don't need more things knowing my location. Um, but geofencing, basically, when you exit, if it detects that you've left at a, left your house or left the location that you set it to, um, the lights will do a certain thing. Um, you can log in or log out, uh, which is pretty pretty sweet. Um, let me hit this and then miss call. So what I was talking to my I was talking to my parents about this, and I was saying that these lights apparently. Um, if you get a call and if you get a missed call, um, these lights, you can set the light to do something. So obviously I can't demonstrate that right now because I have no calls. But if you get a missed call, you can set the lights when you click on it to do something. And you can set it only after sunset or show notification. You can you can tell it to do a lot of things that way. You know, if you're more hard of hearing, it's a really nice accessibility feature. And if you just like that thing in general, like if you're really focused and you just want to you're like you don't have your phone near you and you just want to notice that especially with your phone coming up uh for the windows store you're gonna like it um so it's a really nice application and when you see notifications you can set it to do stuff it's overall a really nice well laid out clean application but now i'm going to actually change this thing back to what i liked it to be there you go it's a really nice really clean application i really like what this developer has done with this application it's clean it's not perfect um i haven't found any problems any bugs but it's not perfect last thing too um if you minimize it it minimizes to a small window in the corner here uh, which is really nice and then you can see your scenes still and change everything to scenes and come back it's a nice like animation and just smooth transition with the fluent design and then but one little gripe it's a minor nitpick gripe um that i have to say is uh this icon here you see it's minimized and when i hover over you see that it says maximize this icon like if, if you didn't ever if you never hovered over it and you're trying to figure out how to maximize this application you would never know because this icon doesn't make sense the arrow one in my brain the arrow pointing in towards the window makes it look like it's it's gonna like minimize it to like the tray down here it doesn't look like it's gonna make it full screen but rather this is the maximize logo like that you see that uh, which kind of doesn't make any sense, uh, and I know a lot of people won't understand that feature too. So they should really just change that icon to just make it like the same arrows as this, and just make it the opposite direction so they're facing out to make it bigger, like as if you're pinching to zoom in or zoom out. That would be a simple thing. Uh, last thing here, you have your little mail thing about and contact. You see the version you can donate, ask the developer things, which I will do. Um, this is very nice of an application i can guarantee that you guys will love it you can see here uh, this is the settings of the app itself you can set it so that way the theme is set to your system theme or you can set it to a light theme um, it says a restart is required so let's let's let it restart there we go so here is the light theme it's really hard on my eyes um, i don't really like the light theme at all um, i think most of you would probably like the dark theme honestly so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back to the dark theme or mm, yeah, I'm going to go to use the dark theme just because it's it's much easier on my eyes. Got to wait a little bit. I'll jump to it and we're back. Uh, it took a long time for this thing to restart. I think the better way would just leave it alone, honestly. But you can see here the dark theme is much better, especially at least to me, the dark theme is much better. Um, one other thing that I wanted to show off before I actually um, end the video is one thing I've noticed is that if I happen to change the light scheme on, um, if I change the light scheme on, say, this iPad in front of me here, which I'm going to do right now as soon as I find it, if I change the light scheme 
you'll notice that if I change the controls of, say, the basement desk, if I turn off the basement desk lamp, which you'll see in the camera, um, like right now, you'll notice that on the screen in the app, it doesn't actually show that the basement desk lamp is off. It still shows that it's on and it doesn't make any sense. Um, and when I turn it on, you see the light turned on and the controls didn't change anything. You see the dimming thing at the bottom. If I lower the dim to like medium, you notice the light does lower to medium, but the app doesn't show that it is actually at medium. And if I, let me see if it works the same way on here. If, while it's in vice versa, um, if you change the dimming to whatever it is uh, right now, if you open up your app at the same time, you'll notice in real time that it is actually changing the dim on the app. Like it shows a, like a visual cue. So it's very strange um, that for some reason, no matter what you do um, on the app itself on a different platform, it doesn't actually reflect on the app on Windows until you like restart it or hit this refresh button. So actually, you know what? Let, let's try that. So if I do this, I'm going to lower it to, let's say, I'm going to lower it to like, I guess this is two thirds. I'm going to hit refresh. Now it's at two thirds. So what you have to do is you have to actually manually hit this refresh button, which is kind of frustrating, but it's a minor nitpick. Uh, would be nice if it did it in real time, but for those of us who are having this, it's a nice app altogether, and it's I think it has four stars out of five on the Windows or the Microsoft Store, um, and it costs four I think four oh nine currently for the premium features, which included the ambience and the disco stuff and all that stuff. This is U.S. obviously. Um, so it's really nice. I'd highly recommend it if you have a Philips Hue smart home, smart lights, and stuff like that. If you have any questions about this application, you can email the developer or you can just send me a, uh, a line on the description. Is actually has my email in there. So you can contact me on any social media. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions or any apps I should look at in the future. As always, my name is Kwaku, and take care, everybody.